is Sandra Dolopum. I'm from Kitwe. The problem that brought me here is a, a toxic goiter or a cyst. Um, it's a growth that's either it's either on your throat, your like for ladies, even in your womb, it can be there. It's caused by a hormonal imbalance or your thyroid gland in uh, if it's being overworked. Um, there's a friend of mine, a doctor, he's the one that noticed I had it. I didn't even notice. Then I also had skin issues. I would have pimples, I would have blisters, not knowing where they're coming from. I would use all the products that I was recommended to use, but still, the, either the rash or the pimples wouldn't go away. My skin was really bad, to an extent where at times I would even hide it. I was even shy to talk to a few people, because it was really bad. My hands would even become swollen, and I would have rash, an explainable rash. Um, the rash, I think for a month now, a month plus. Then the cyst from, I only noticed it in October, October this year. I would easily get tired. My body was just tired. Even when I'm just from sleeping in the morning, I'll still feel tired. Um, recently, I was actually demoted from a branch manager to a branch supervisor. I was just told by uh, one of the region supervisors what was going on. I was told not to do the duties that I usually do but I was assigned to do that less work than I usually do every day. It was really heartbreaking, the fact that I've been with this company for four years now. This is the, uh, next year will be the fifth year, and I was the one that kind of opened the branch that, I'm, that I was running. I tried to find out what was going on, but no one was willing to talk to me or listen to what I wanted to say or even ask. So I just decided to let it slide. Let it slide. I just said, if it's God's will, then let it be. If that position is really mine, it will come back to me. I believe what's meant for me will always find its way to me. I'm still working as a brand supervisor. The anger came in immediately. I knew about the demotion. I was, I was always upset for no reason. I would snap at everyone at work for no reason. Any small thing, it would trigger my anger. <laughs> Weirdly, I stopped talking to people. Then um, I actually noticed a few months ago, I just developed the spirit of fear. I couldn't sleep alone. Or like I wouldn't be in my room for a very long time by myself. I would feel like there's somebody either behind me, besides me, or underneath my bed. I was just always scared. So I would always carry the sticker with me wherever I went. Even when I'm surrounded by people, I would still have that fear. Something wants to hurt me or something wants to get me. I got the sticker from my mom. She went to Scorn a few years ago. So I always move with it. Initially, I got the sticker when I had other complications a few years ago. Yes, that's when I got the sticker. So from that time, I always move with it. Yeah. I was actually going through a mini depression, I would say. I would have phases of being depressed. One minute I'm depressed, the next minute I'm anxious about certain things like school. Um, I'll be, I'm planning to go back to school, God willing, in January it was a bit of a worry for me because the school itself is a bit pricey so i was a bit worried about school fees school fees and how i was going to manage work plus school so it's it really depressed me i'll say i was depressed and very worried about how i was going to raise the school fees my health as well also came in so everything was just it's like being hit with a big ball of worry, depression, and anxiousness at once. But after being prayed for, I'm fine. I feel very fine. Help me, man of God. I have a cyst on my throat, also known as a goiter, a toxic goiter. Yes. It's in its early stages. What do you want to do? Hmm? You want to do what? Tie it properly. You want to do what? <laughs> Spirit of death! You want to kill her? Yes! Why do you want to kill her? Do you 
know what she wants to do. She wants to go to she went to Yali. Why should she be the only one who goes to Ziyali? She wants to go where? She wants to go to Ziyali. To Ziyali. Yes. She's a lawyer. No, she's not human resource, but she wants to do labor and industrial relations. Okay, what have you done to her health? You have done what to her health? In the mighty name of Jesus. You say you are not happy because you want to go to the area. Yes. Okay, what have you done to her health? You just made her sick. There is this name toxic goiter. Yes. Who is behind that? <laughs> hmm? Who is behind that? <laughs> Who is behind that name? Hmm? What have you done to look at the hand? What is this? Hmm? What is this? What is this? Hmm? What have you done to her skin? Talk. I want to make her ugly. You want to make her ugly? Yes. You know she's beautiful. Yes. Why have you done this to her skin? What is this? I want to make her ugly, like okay. I said. Can you tell me the, the, the name of these things? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> you are laughing. Yes. Why are you laughing? Because you're always fighting me with her. Me? Yes. Okay. Do you know what she does? She always moves with that stinking stick in what? her bra. Okay. Where is the stick? It's, it's, it's always here. Okay. If the sticker is there. If it's not here, it's in her bag. Okay. Once she put the sticker there, what is happening to you? She knows we're out to get her. She knows. If the sticker is not there, you do what? <laughs> we give her depression and anxiety. And anxiety? Yes. Okay. You put stock stick, goiter. Yes. And you have disfigured her fingers, yes. her palm. Yes. They say it's what to the hospital? They just said it's a toxic goiter that's giving her hormonal imbalance. Oh, all those things? Yes. Who is behind that? Me. Who are you? I'm spirit of death. Spirit of death? Yes. So you kill people in this family? Yes. You have done what to the winter family? <laughs> this one is mine. Hmm? This one is mine. This one is yours? Yes. Who told you that? <laughs> her grandmother. Her future belongs to God, not to you. You are mistaken. What have done to her career, her working place? They demoted her. They demoted her? Yes. Why? Nothing. She was working as who? <laughs> she's a branch manager and now she's just a branch supervisor. She was a branch manager? Yes. Now she's a branch supervisor? Yes. From branch manager? Yes. To branch supervisor? Yes. Why? Why should she be the one to become rich? Does it mean she's not qualified? No, she's actually more than qualified. More than qualified? Yes. So you demoted her? Yes. You are going. You are going. You and your nonsense, you are leaving this one. These things you have put, you are going. No, she can't. Hmm? She can't. Oh, stand by yourself. No. Stand by yourself. You say what? She can't. Look at me when you are talking to me. You say what? Stand by yourself. Look here. Remove your nonsense. Remove your goiter. Remove it. Fire in the name of Jesus. Inside your blood. Your throat. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your spirit of death. Remove your things. Hmm? You must. Fire in the name of Jesus. Hmm? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Your future belongs to God, not to this spirit of death. Demoting someone from a branch manager to a branch supervisor. Is it not depression? Hmm? The people that you manage, they are the ones who are managing you now. Ah. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. From the head to our feet. From the head to our feet. Every evil power you have put in her body. Fire in the name of Jesus. She will vomit you now. Fire 
in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, this rubbish. In the mighty name of Jesus. Vomit it out in the mighty name of Jesus. You must vomit. Who are you? Vomit it out. Vomit it out. Vomit it out. Who are you? Who are you? Eh? Who are you? She can't intimidate me. Eh? She can't intimidate me. Are you trying to intimidate me? God has really answered my prayers because there are so many things that I was really going through and it's a thing where you don't have people to discuss them with but I'm glad the man of God knew what I was going through and God has really answered my prayers. He's really set me free and definitely he'll grant me my heart desires. I'm actually free. Like, I feel I, like, even in the morning, I felt like there was something inside my chest. Like, there's just something heavy inside my chest. Like, and I don't know how to explain it. It was just there. I feel very free. <laughs>